Fortnite Chapter 2 completely changed the game of Fortnite, but with the introduction of so many new things in this brand new chapter, we had to say goodbye to so many old things as well. I jumped onto Twitter and asked you guys which things you missed the most in the brand new Fortnite Chapter 2, and today we're going to be taking a list at the top 10 things that should return to Fortnite to make it an even bigger and better games, and there are some things in there that we really, really want to return. If there's anything that comes up on this list that you really want to see return, make sure you give it a thumbs up on this video to show your support. And thank you everyone for using code Alley in the Fortnite item store. Make sure you subscribe for the latest Fortnite news and information. Without further ado, let's jump into number 10. At the start of chapter 2, Fortnite did something really weird. We didn't get any patch notes for the beginning of chapter 2. We jumped into the world to explore and find everything out for ourselves. And you know what? I really enjoyed that. It was fun seeing things that were new for the first time without having read them beforehand. However, with the updates that have come throughout chapter 2 since we still don't have any patch notes and this week for example we got the brand new harpoon gun with no warning no patch notes it was just added into the game I've seen loads of people upset about this we definitely want to have transparency which is something Fortnite have been really good at in the past and I think patch notes are one of the things that should definitely definitely return when things get changed and updated in Fortnite we want to know about it so we can go ahead and experience it without it completely going under the radar so I think a lot of you guys are going to agree with me, patch notes need to return. And number nine, the old Allie intro. Should we bring back the Allie intro a little bit more? It's been a while since I use it. Some of you love it, some of you hate it, and I've kind of left it on the side burner for a little while, but a lot of you guys did reply saying you want to see the Allie intro a little bit more, so here you go, guys, for the old time's sake. <laughs> If I should use the alley intro a little bit more, let me know. And number eight. Okay, back to Fortnite. A little bit more serious here. Vending machines. Now, vending machines have actually been found within the Fortnite Chapter 2 map already. However, they're not fully functioning. They're not quite working. They've, they've just got like X's on them. But they have been found in the map, indicating that they could return at some point in the future. Vending machines had many changes and different variations of them throughout their lifetime in Chapter 1. From the cost of the vending machine to things in the vending machine becoming free, for example, they had changed and no doubt if they do return within chapter 2, they will come in a slightly different way yet again, but I think having those dotted around the map made it cool to explore, made it cool to remember where they were, and you could get yourself a free legendary weapon if you got really lucky as well. So it looks like that will be returning, it's something that you guys mentioned, so keep an eye out for it. And number 7, vehicles. Now with the start of chapter 2, the main, and I think the only vehicle is the boat obviously, which is a great way of getting around all of the water areas, it can go on land as we have obviously found out, but there were many vehicles in chapter 1 for example all the way from the shopping cart to planes. A lot of you guys replied with different vehicles that you'd like added into the game. Now the good news is the chapter 2 map basically revolves around two main design features. You've obviously got the water coming from the center and splitting out to the edges of the map. We've also got loads and loads of roads, like dedicated actual physical roads. I would not be surprised at all if we got brand new car designed vehicles which you can all jump into and drive around the map. Fortnite try and avoid ways to get around the map super quickly. Well, I mean, having said that, we've had planes and we've had the most ridiculous vehicles in the past. So I think actually having a more normal vehicle in the form of a car or some sort of land vehicle will definitely happen throughout the brand new chapter two map. So keep an eye out on it. Again, you've heard it here. We will definitely be getting more vehicles. Maybe not ones that we've seen in the past, unfortunately, but don't forget we do have those lawn mowers that are dotted up on a mini track, a little bit like the shopping trolleys were before they were added in the first time into Fortnite chapter one. So maybe mowing grass vehicles would be the first thing that gets added. Either way, definitely expect vehicles to be coming to the map soon. Number six, Cypher. Now, this is something that is obviously in Arena. People still ask me and still tell Fortnite to this day that they would like it to return to public games. The idea that it was removed initially because it promoted too aggressive play, basically meaning that the better players had a big advantage on the fact that they were pushing everyone and getting health and shield back really quickly compared to people that were playing a little bit slower. Now, we've had obviously skill-based matchmaking added in, making the lobbies a little bit more even. So if the lobbies are a little bit more even, maybe we should just put Siphon back in since everybody on a more similar playing field. I would love to see Siphon return. I haven't been playing much arena recently, so I've almost forgotten what it's like to 
get health and shield upon elimination. And I know you guys would like it. I would definitely like it. So it's a solid point and maybe we'll have it return at some point in the future in chapter two. I would love to see it. Number five. I'm not sure if you guys are trolling me, but I genuinely don't think you were. A weapon that came up over and over again, you really want to see return and it surprised me a little bit, was the guided missile launcher. Now I think the main reason you guys want to see his return is simply how fun it was. The ability to actually control a rocket and just land it on an enemy when it was first added into the game was unprecedented and it was so much fun. It was actually very OP when it first came out. It was vaulted and then brought back a little bit weaker, a little bit slower and then again taken out of the game. So I think because of the fact it's been in the game for such a limited amount of time, more people want to play it and actually get their hands on it. Uh, obviously there were lots of different weapons. Attack SMG was brought up a lot. The silenced SMG was brought up a lot from you guys as well. One weapon that looks like it could be making a return is actually the scoped AR because behind the scenes they've been tweaking and changing the damage and the reload time of this weapon uh, throughout chapter 2 so far. Obviously we don't know about this because they haven't told us no patch notes remember but if they've been changing and tinkering with the weapon damages a little bit then the fact that it could return is looking very likely. If there's any other weapons that you would like to return do let me know down below. I for one would vote TAC SMG because it's ridiculously strong and I can't like, I love it. Number four, less so an addition from chapter one and more so reverting back to chapter one is the removal of skill-based matchmaking. Now, it's been in the game obviously for a little while now. I don't see it ever going, unfortunately, but people still tweet and people still get upset about how the skill-based matchmaking works. And uh, I really felt the full force of it. As you know, I've done videos on it already. At the start of chapter two, they really put it in full effect and lobbies became, if you had better stats, definitely a lot harder. However, it's definitely helped out other people and brought them back to the game and made them feel like they can jump in without insane builds and actually still compete with other people because there's a similar skill level in the lobby. We all know how skill-based matchmaking works. Now, it's obviously a very split thing. Some people like it, some people don't, uh, but people are still asking for it to be removed. What are you guys thinking though? Have you come adjusted to it or not? Remember, skill-based matchmaking is only fully implemented in solos, squads has not None at all, and I think duos it isn't quite there yet either. So solos is what is fully based on skill-based matchmaking. The rest of the modes are still completely random, and you may find lots of bots, and it's still a different experience. Either way, people are still talking about it, and if they're talking about it, I've got to be talking about it as well. Number three, this is a type of weaponry in a way. The double pump is still talked about to this day. We all know how OP double pump was back in the day, but really, and this is something I've thought about the more I've thought about double pump, because don't get me wrong, I love double pump as well. It was lethal. We've basically built up a meta and built up an array of weapons where Double pump wouldn't be quite as effective as it was back in the day, even if they did bring it back. Because we've got things like legendary tack and because we've got things like legendary tack shotguns, which shoots at a really fast fire rate and deals a lot of damage very accurately anyway. Actually trying to double pump properly is almost more of a pain and less effective than some of the shotguns that are in the game now anyway. However, one thing I would say is that the pump currently is really underwhelming in my opinion, unless you get the purple or legendary one, which is not easy to find. The, the gray, green and blue ones just aren't great and the damage it deals even to the head sometimes can be really pathetic because the damage drop off is so strong. So maybe putting double pump back in the game just for the sake of being able to use the pumps more effectively could be quite fun. Let me know what you guys think. Let's not forget that the double pump icon was shown in the Season X Battle Pass. Maybe they were just trolling us because they haven't talked about it since then at all. But either way, double pump would be quite fun, especially since the pump is a little bit weaker now anyway. A number two, you guys want the OG map back. Now, obviously with chapter two, we've got a brand new map. It is completely different and believe around about 20% bigger than the old school map, meaning that it takes a little bit longer to get around, more places to explore, and it is definitely a new experience. However, a lot of you guys miss Tilted, a lot of you guys miss OG locations that were in the original map, and although I don't think we'll see the return of the OG map for a long, long time, and the fact that they don't have both of the maps, it, the reason they do that is because they'd split their player base amongst two maps and then it would make queue times even longer. Basically, it just wouldn't work. So they're always gonna be committed to one map specifically, but you never know. Maybe parts of the old map will be integrated with updates into the new map and we'll see things merge in a little bit. But what we can say is, remember what the Fortnite chapter one map looked like and how that progressed all the way to Fortnite season X. 
so many changes. Just remember, we are basically at that season one OG map point, but for the chapter two map. So give it another 10 seasons and the map that we're on will change significantly anyway. So we're going to have lots of changes, guys. And maybe, just maybe, for the fans, they will bring back Tilted or some version of Tilted to the new map. I think it's going to happen, guys. Don't worry. Keep an eye out. And number one, by far the most requested thing, by far the thing that would make the Fortnite map feel even bigger and better is mobility. As I've just said, the map is around about 20% bigger. However, the only way of getting around at the moment is pretty much on the boats, which work on land, but not too well. We want to see launch pads back. That was definitely the one thing you guys mentioned the most. We want to see even like, I don't know, shock wave nades back. Anything that just gets us around the map a little bit quicker would help us explore it quicker for the new players first of all and just mean that if you do get caught off guard or if you do find yourself running through the storm you've got a way of getting around a little bit more effectively a little bit more quicker. I think it will speed up the pace of this brand new chapter map a lot more. I have no doubt that they will add more mobility. Do not worry. Let's not forget we're only in the very early stages of the current Fortnite map so things will progress. No doubt. Pretty much all the things that I've talked about on this lift I hope will be addressed in some sort of way and having taken all of your thoughts all of my own personal thoughts into one big list do you agree with anything do you disagree with anything this is now your time to leave a comment down below and as I said at the beginning of the video if there's anything on this list at all that you want to see added make sure you've hit that thumbs up button already obviously to see if any of these things do get added changed or any updates at all to Fortnite make sure you are subscribed here to the channel you can check out recent videos right here on screen as well and keep an eye on for lots of changes happening throughout chapter 2 hope you've enjoyed it's been a fun list to look at and I'm looking forward to lots of changes coming to the game soon. I'll see you then. Goodbye.